Welcome back. You're still tuned into your trusted news channel on 405. I'm Lindy Sarame. Now, the training of nurses for 2020 is in jeopardy. According to the Democratic Nursing Association, DENOSA, they say there are delays in the provision of new accreditation to institutions that provide training to nurses. Well, here to explain that situation in more detail is DENOSA President Simon Tlongwane. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon, Simon. Okay, greetings and thank you for, for having us. I mean, let's begin with maybe discussing what seems to be the holdup in this uh, accreditation process. Well, um, I can say it starts at the end. What we had anticipated after we've made a call in February this year was that by now we would be having nursing colleges declared as institutions of higher learning according to the new regulations and the new laws of the country as well as uh, their curriculums, including the universities that are currently institutions for higher learning, accredited for their curriculums to, to, to train, and uh, of which the, the, the SACWA would have already given them that um, um, authorization numbers per institution. And that process needed that the nursing council would have had to play the role, the South African Nursing Council, as well as the Council for Higher Education, needed to have played the role in the accreditation process of the curriculums, but the nursing council would have gone further to go into institution inspecting them and seeing if they meet the minimum requirement for rendering a nursing education come 2020. Mm. And I mean, let's speak about the new regulation that guides the accreditation of nursing colleges. Maybe give us more insight into what exactly it entails. Well, uh, one is that it is needed that for any nursing education institution that will be providing training in our country, must get accreditation by the nursing council, which means they must go into that institution, inspect how it is, whether they have the relevant academic staff, like the principal with proper qualifications, the lecturers as well with proper qualifications, because you can't just teach unless you are, in, you are a lecturer, you've got qualifications in nursing education mm -hmm. uh, for that matter. And then if you are a principal, you must further have nursing management as, as, as a basic. But also above that, do they have a clinical placement because nursing is a skill that is softer in nature and it's something that you must practice because you, with, with a human being. So you must have an attachment to a, a, a hospital and clinics. So they need to have that available before they can even be granted that permission to provide that training. And then over and above that, do they have residencies? Do they have um, libraries? Do they have uh, computer labs? and many other areas, but the nursing council would be doing that process of checking that that, that is part of what must be done. And the council for higher education also come into there. So there are these two folds where the nursing council will play a role, as well as the council for higher education would have to play a role. So there's this dual responsibility for them to ultimately then say, the Council for Higher Education Department of Education must declare these colleges as institutions of higher, higher learning so that they meet the minimum requirements that are required, just as with the universities, the technicons, and the, the TVET colleges, mm -hmm. and so on. That whole process, we've said it in February, that it is stalling, it's not happening, and we were calling for, for a speed way of resolving these issues. To date, we are receiving enormous calls from our colleges, the principals, the lecturers, which are our members, including the universities, the deans, as well as the, the heads of department for the Faculty of uh, Health Sciences under the, the div Division of Nursing, who are saying we are stuck. We do not know if we will get approval or we will not even get approval. But if approval is not granted, the simple story is come next year, January, South Africa as a whole will not be able to take a first year student to do nursing next year. And the new framework of nursing is that you, there will be a training for a three years diploma as well as a four years degree. If all of this comes to a stop with an aging population within the nursing profession, it means those who are retiring next year will not be preparing to replace them at any time. And it takes three years and four years to produce one nurse over and above that, that nurse would still have to go and do community service for a year. Mm. So that means the whole process will be stifled and will be in a crisis because when we talk NHI, NHI in its current format, without the production of a large number of nurses, it will not make it in our country. Yeah. We need a lot of nurses to do. And to I mean, we've, in that we've space. seen a whole lot of talk over NHI, but it, what I'm hearing you say is that the basics, the people who are really needed to carry out, you know, this project like NHI, are not going to be equipped enough to carry out their duties. Do we know how many people will be affected by this, Simon? Well, 
If, if you were to think of what is our need for nurses, I think our estimation was above 20,000 of the current need, the current needs. So it means we must reach as a country a stage where we say, for the population of 57 million, how many nurses do we need to provide nursing care in, in, in the health fraternity itself as a country? Now, without a plan of how to achieve that, over and above that, with this crisis where we are not even going to be able to train a nurse if nothing is done for now, we're going to reach a crisis level next year. Mind you, for, for NHI to happen, you will need specialized nurses, which in the, next, uh, in the new format is going to be a national diploma in a, a postgraduate diploma where you will be doing your, your primary health care, critical care. Those are the skills that we need in the country, including trauma, ICUs, as well as theater and so on. There are no regulations which the minister has signed. And you can't train unless we have those regulations. The whole process is stalling. And, and we, we are just saying, and we're making this call, that the Minister of Health and the Minister of Education must zoom into this issue, ensure that they bring all their, the people who account to them. Because this Council for Higher Education and the South African Nancy Council, they have somewhere where they, they account to. They must present a plan that will say, within the next month or two, everything will be done and complete. Because and we have a large number of colleges that must be accredited. Just speaking about the stalling, where does the issue, on whose feet does this, uh, does this rest on? Why have there been these delays? Who's to blame here? Well, uh, there's squarely two bodies that are regulating in South Africa, nursing training and education, including the practice. We, we have nursing council that is, is, is regulating that part. Now, for the education part, we also have over and above the nursing council, the council for higher education, which falls within the department of higher education. Both of them, at the current moment, have not been able to solve this problem. That's why we are making a cry. We, are, we have just been informed that the council for higher education says they are increasing the number of meetings that they will be having in order to solve this thing in a speedy way. We are making the same call for nursing council to say, come to the party, make sure that you meet regularly. Process everything that we have, the inspections, the curriculum, evaluations. Ultimately, what we want to hear, because we are the, the last people and the end users in this regard, we just want to hear that the colleges have been accredited. We just want to hear that the curriculums have been approved. We just want to hear that next year there's going to be training. That's the only thing we want. Our country will not be able to meet NHI for so long as we don't take the issue of production of nurses seriously, including doctors and other health professionals. And just before I let you go, uh, Simon, tell us a bit about what Denosa has done to put a pressure on the relevant people to speed up this process. And what, do you, what are your plans going forward? Well, in, in May we have said we want to table this matter at the door of the, of, of the president. We were then advised to say, no, deal with it with the minister. Only if it fails, then see how you, 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 can, you can elevate the matter. We've made those attempts to say, Minister, we want to sit down and talk about it. To date, we haven't get, gotten that, 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 that meeting. But we are now even going to go to the chairperson of the portfolio committee, uh, Dr. Lomo, to say, come and address our issues. But we have also made attempts to say, let's meet with the nursing council, council for higher education. Come and tell us, where is the bottleneck? Is there anything that we can do? Because we have members in the colleges and the universities. We must be able to go and address our members and say, they say there's a problem here. Can you address this and that? We want to help. But currently, we are not, being, we are not, we are not at a stage where we can say, we know whether the problem is in the colleges or not. But we know people who are supposed to approve is the nursing council and the council for higher um, education. So we believe those are the decision makers. If there's a stifling and a bottleneck on the bottom, they must let us know so that we can assist. We want to be part of the solution. All right. Well, thank you. I think we'll leave it there. That is uh, Donosa President Simon Tlungwane talking to us about the accreditating colleges. As you heard him say earlier on, come January next year, if this issue is not resolved, nurses will not be able to, to even begin their courses in 2020.